On April 22, 2019, Tesla held an event called Autonomy Day. The event featured talks by CEO Elon Musk and other top executives and engineers to demonstrate the company's autonomous driving technology, which is built into every Tesla. At the event, Musk said, I feel very confident predicting autonomous robo-taxis for Teslas next year. He went on to say that by the end of 2020, Tesla will have a million of these cars on the road. This didn't happen so far, but there are big recent news regarding the promised robo-taxis and it's extremely promising. What is a robo-taxi and when will we start seeing these cars on the road? Join me as I'll deep dive into Tesla's new project, the robo-taxi. As Tesla celebrated the launch of its new headquarters and Gigafactory, the electric automaker teased new products and upcoming deliveries for the coming year. Tesla CEO Elon Musk kicked off the launch of the company's new Giga Texas factory on Thursday, 7th of April, with a wild display that saw a swarm of drones reproduce online memes and the picture of an enormous car in the sky. Then, Musk pledged to significantly scale up manufacturing in 2023 and showed off an improved Cybertruck prototype, as well as hinting at a new car. A dedicated robo-taxi. The robo-taxi during the ceremony. Giga Texas, located just outside of Austin, is Tesla's newest and largest gigafactory, as well as the company's new corporate headquarters. The building, which spans over 10 million square feet, brings together all aspects of Tesla's battery and car assembly under one roof. According to Musk, raw materials enter one end of the building and finished automobiles exit the other, using the automaker's revolutionary manufacturing processes. Musk told a crowd of over 1,000 invited guests and Tesla enthusiasts packed in the enormous facility for a cyber rodeo that the plant will be producing at least 500,000 vehicles yearly by next year. Initially, it will produce Model Y hatchbacks, with the hard-edge Cybertruck pickup truck going into production next year, as well as a new version of the Roadster sports car and a Tesla Semi. During the event, Musk also mentioned that Tesla is working on a dedicated robo-taxi. There's going to be a dedicated robo-taxi that's going to look quite futuristic, Elon said on April 7th during the grand opening of the $1.1 billion Tesla factory in Texas. For Musk, a robo-taxi meant a self-driving vehicle capable of picking up customers and delivering them to random locations without the need for human intervention. Basically, it's a robotic version of Uber or Lyft. As a result, Tesla planned to use the existing Model 3 as a foundation for a fleet of self-driving taxis. The robo-taxi will be a brand new vehicle that doesn't currently exist in Tesla's lineup. It will be a brand new model with a fresh look. One of the most difficult challenges to overcome in order to make this promise a reality is reaching level 5 autonomous driving. In other words, where a car can drive itself without the presence of a human behind the wheel. Full self-driving FSD, a driving assistance system developed by Tesla and sold for $12,000, doesn't allow vehicles to be autonomous yet. Musk, however, has stated that FSD will be perfected and that Tesla cars will be self-driving by the end of the year. It's worth noting that the billionaire has made this promise on several occasions without realizing it. Musk already promised a million operating robo-taxis by the end of 2020 during the 2019 Autonomy Day event. But as we know, Tesla's autopilot mode, which steers, accelerates, or slows the car to stay within its lane but still requires human supervision, has already been involved in tragic accidents. Furthermore, even if the company was to ever perfect the technology in a year or so, it would take much longer to thoroughly test the vehicles and acquire regulatory approval. So, Musk's pledge of a million Tesla robo-taxis in operation by the end of 2020 was doomed to fail. It would have been incredible if even a single total autonomous automobile could be on public roads in that time range. Now, let's talk more about All Autonomy Day, where Elon revealed several things. A large portion of the Autonomy Day presentation was devoted to a discussion of Tesla's unique now self-driving microprocessor chip. Previously, the company relied on NVIDIA chips that were optimized for deep neural networks. Tesla claimed that their new processors had unprecedented power, but NVIDIA executives soon countered, claiming that the latest version of their AI chips were on par with or quicker than the Tesla product in development. Tesla does have a significant competitive advantage, which might allow it to outperform its competitors and be the first to deploy fully autonomous self-driving cars. This benefit isn't due to a unique computer chip or even an algorithm. Rather, as it's so often the case in artificial intelligence, Tesla's edge is in the amount of data it controls. Every Tesla comes with eight cameras that are constantly recording images from the road and the area around it. On board, computers can access these photographs, determine which ones are likely to be of interest to Tesla, and then automatically upload them in a compressed manner to the company's network. 
Over 400,000 of these camera-equipped vehicles are on the road throughout the world, and the number is continuously growing. To put it another way, Tesla has access to a vast collection of real-world photographic data that none of its competitors can match. Self-driving cars might already be widely used if public roads were anything like the inside of an Amazon warehouse in terms of overall predictability. But the issue, of course, is the almost endless number of unique interactions and situations that a self-driving car will find difficult or impossible to effectively predict or, in many cases, interpret. The majority of self-driving car projects rely on extremely accurate, sophisticated mapping of the streets being traveled. As a result, unplanned road closures, construction, or traffic accidents might cause issues. Poor weather, particularly heavy rain or snow, creates substantial roadblocks. However, interacting securely with an environment populated by unexpected walkers, bicyclists, and vehicles may be the most difficult obstacle. Elon Musk and the rest of Tesla's management team have clearly given a lot of thought to the prospect of full autonomy. They've developed a potential solution to the business model challenge in addition to the technology during the 2019 Autonomy Day event. Musk detailed a proposal in which Tesla owners could have their cars partake in a robo-taxi service run by the company. Tesla would receive a portion of the ride-sharing costs, similar to how Apple makes money from its App Store. One intriguing aspect of this plan is it addresses the ownership and maintenance issues that Uber and Lyft may face in the future. Tesla may have figured out a method to act as a pure internet intermediate while avoiding the need to own a fleet of cars. Although most Tesla owners may not want to share their cars with strangers, if the concept proves to be effective, many customers will likely purchase Tesla automobiles as a business investment rather than a personal vehicle. Self-driving vehicles, without a question, will be one of the most tangible and impactful manifestations of the artificial intelligence revolution in the future. This technology has the potential to change both our cities and our way of life, saving thousands of lives in the process. However, it is possible that we'll have to wait a decade or more for the technology to come. What do you think? Strong evidence of the AI revolution will first appear in locations like warehouses, offices, and retail stores, where the technological obstacles are more manageable, the environment is more controllable, the technology is less regulated, and the repercussions of a mistake are far less severe. A lot of people are the opinion that Musk's promises of an autonomous vehicle in 2022 is extraordinarily optimistic and even a bit reckless because the technology is just not yet there. But if anyone can do it, it has to be Elon Musk. Do you think we will see the robo-taxi on the roads anytime soon? Let us know in the comment section down below.